Scorpio, you have a very, very bad reputation and you're so proud of it. I think you guys are like actually the perpetuators of all of your like kind of like bad reputation things because you enjoy the social power it gives you and you enjoy the mystique. Some of it is true. I mean, there's like some kinds of shadiness that are particularly the terrain of Scorpios, but I don't even want to talk about that stuff. What I want to talk about is, I don't even know if sex obsessed is the right word for it. Sex superhero, sex, I don't know, like the human embodiment of sexual desire. I mean, some of it's, again, like it's great PR, amazing lays, right? Super magnetic. Okay, it's not 100% false. It's just, it's just sort of like to the left of the truth. The truth about Scorpios is that you guys are really interested in intimacy. And when I say intimacy, I mean deep heart level connection with another person. You guys are the psychologists of the Zodiac and you're t generally speaking, really good at getting close to other people. Scorpio is always looking for peak experiences, those places where you kind of like you're like, can I survive this? By going through it, you find out, oh, this, yeah, this part of me survived it. Sex happens to be one of those places that we can have peak experiences. And so for sure, for, our, for many Scorpios, sex is a fun place and a kind of deep, powerful place to experience that sense of your own, the boundaries of your own mortality coming up against another person's. It's also a really cool place to have a kind of deep psychological exchange with another person, particularly if you're having a kind of sex that is scary for you or the other person. And I mean like emotionally scary, deeply scary, scary because intimacy scares the crap out of most of us. But here's the kind of like hole in that sort of Scorpio stereotype. One is not all Scorpios seek out peak experiences through sexuality. It's just what some Scorpios do. Another is that, uh, and I think this is the big one, Scorpios are actually one of the signs likeliest to kind of get become sexually shut down and go through massively long dry spells. And the reason is that Scorpio is because you guys do this intimacy so deeply and so intensely, you guys get hurt really deep, deeply and intensely. And you understand that sexuality is a place that you can be hurt because you open yourself up to it on an emotional spiritual as well as physical level. You know, the sort of like the Scorpio, I, like I'm trying to think of words that aren't like totally like negative, socially negative or whatever. Like I don't want to call you guys sluts, right? Femme fatales, man fatales. That can be true, but it's just as likely that a Scorpio is going to be devoting their attention to paying really close attention to like what are the social dynamics in your workplace or in your home? How is money moving behind the scenes? How is, what secrets are people keeping? These are just as interesting for Scorpios. And for Scorpios who are less interested in sex, that's where you're gonna put that kind of like intense peak experience energy.